hello. This edition of NSFW Show. We're joined by Brett the Amtrak Aronza. He of Aronza.com. Another one of our favorite old games. And invent a new piece of frivolity called I Said What? Also, we make sure your stories are correct with a new game called Don't Get Brody. Plus, the most thrilling final five minutes of this show's financial history. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW Show. Join us. You've been rookered. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 45 for October 12, 2010. Pants check. Checking my pants. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace. Sign up for your free, no risk, two week trial and keep us in business by using promo code NSFW for 10% off the lifetime of your order. First of all, before I hit play on this, a quick word with our listeners, if we may. We here at NSFW pride ourselves on bringing you what you're going to see next week first. You most definitely are going to see this next week. In no way does this mean that we approve or condone this video, but you will see it a lot. Enjoy. Special report. Armed with the rover, one cat is on the loose and addicted to crack. Cat crack. Cat crack. One cat is loose and addicted on crack. Cat crack. <laughs> cat crack. <laughs> cat crack. He's freebasing your crack. Ooh, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Cat crack is the one of a kind. You can see him smoking crack up on a daily ride. Cat crack, cat crack, what's your back neck? Look at back, the crack, what's your crack neck? The crack neck, cook, 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 I think what I love most about videos like this is there is no way I could ever make this. No way. It would be impossible for me to sit there and think, okay, you know what this video needs is a do not enter sign on a cat. Okay, all right, look, and with that, it's time to start this freaking show. It's NSFW, the new show full of win, the new sauce for the Webernets. None other than uh, your weekly dose of all things insane is Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my inimitable co hosts, plural, plural. Plural. Justin Robert Youngification the first. How are you, Professor J R Y, sir? Could not be more excited, Bri Bri. Uh, we are back live on a Tuesday night. Things are getting a little crisper outside. We got a couple uh, old favorite bits, and we got one of my favorite people of all time, ladies and gentlemen. You know him from his Amtrekker series, as well as many appearances on this very show. His latest is the Rounsa.com iPad case. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Brett the Amtrak around Seville. Hey, yo! There we go. You can just pull them together. You don't actually have to clap. Yeah, you know, that's right. Just that's what we do. Is is we say put your hands together to do which we do this, yeah. and we show respect to you. That's a that's a fancy way of saying. And now pray to me. Yes. <laughs> Dude, how have you been? First of all, Brett, uh, we teased the existence of the rounds of cases for like 18 million years before they finally came out. Now they're finally out. And on top of them being, first of all, awesome and brilliant, but you infuse them with such character. Tell, tell us real quick for those who don't know about the rounds of iPad cases. Oh, so, uh, well, the quick version of the backstory, the 10 peso version, if you will, is my mother had to close up her upholstery shop and we had mountains of fabric that we had to deal with. It was either throw it away or make something really freaking rad out of it. So we made something really freaking rad and every week a new iPad case comes out on the site and every week said new iPad case has a name and a cool little backstory, a little personality to it. Um, they're a lot of fun and this week uh, we introduce Bryce, and hopefully tomorrow, if I can get my act together on a video 
It will be Vince, and Vince will be the most specialist iPad case you have ever seen in your life. Yeah, you hear that? Other iPad cases, why don't you suck it? Because Vince is now your master. <laughs> hey, and by the way, you even made one for Brian. Are there any of those left? I know they were super limited editions, super, super low quantities. There are two left, I believe, and that is, well, yes, two left. Okay, and, and for those that don't know, it's like it's got this, uh, it's named it's named and modeled after me. Uh, it's got like 8-bit fire is what the pattern looks like on the back, right? Yeah, it's pretty rad. It's actually one of the coolest cases we have as far as like, because there's some cool ones that are like, oh, this chick's pretty rad because she's old school and classy, but Brian is like boom in your face rad. It's modern totally day. Yeah, yeah, rad. totally, totally, yeah. Uh, I will say this about the Ronson cases is that the uh, getting to know you character bios are so fun that I emailed Brett and said I want to write one because they're just so fun right. and he let me. So that's he, he how offered to pay me to write are. one. <laughs> yes, so, uh, yeah. bribe you as we like to say. All right, gentlemen, are you guys ready to get this thing started? What are we up to today, Mr. Justin Robert Young? Well, my friend, we have two bits that are going to be at the end of the show. That is a new one that we like to call, I said what? Where we go back through the archives of NSFW shows, we take quotes out of context, and we have to decide which one of us said the quote. And also, we have a brand new bit called Don't Get Brody. Yes, folks, how many times have you told an interesting story that all your friends looked at your dumb face and said, shut up, we don't want to hear it anymore. Okay, that's not exactly <laughs> now, how. This is not how we- we are going to train you this is to make- <laughs> Uh, no, sorry, go ahead. No, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was, I was trying to tease the bit that you asked me. No, Brian, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Go That's ahead. not exactly how we discuss setting it up. Not that it would be like, like you know, you're dumb and stupid and you can't do anything. We're just, say, we're just saying that there's a fine art of chit-chat. When you're at your cousin's wedding and you want to kill at a story, you got to practice it, right? That's all we're saying. Okay, so what Brian's trying to say is that when you open your super slack-jawed dumb hole, and everybody looks at you like you're pooping through your eyeballs. You are telling a boring story. We oh want to stop God. you from doing that. Oh that my God! Wait, wait, wait! wait. Game, we need to back up called... just one second because I guarantee you the facial expression that I offer someone who is pooping out their eyeballs and the facial expression I offer someone who is boring me are not the same facial expression. <laughs> Well, then maybe you have not pooped out of your eyeballs lately and seen it on the faces of all of your compatriots, family and friends alike. So here's the deal. We're gonna, we, we invented a game called Don't Get Brody where we're going to have everybody call in. It's going to be like a rodeo. You're going to tell your most interesting story until of the, the, the three of us, we all give a thumbs down. There'll be a timer, and at the end, one person will uh, have stayed on the bull long enough to have win don't get Brody. Everybody else will, of course, get Brody. Right. Now, now keep in mind, we're going to give you the phone number to call in later on. But for now, we guys want you to just take it easy, get your stories ready, maybe practice in front of a mirror, because we are going to bring back my all-time favorite bit. Justin, what are we going to play? Hit it, Rockapella! Oh, you didn't? <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I thought you had the, the sound thing. I'm sorry, no, do it again. No, you have the video clip. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, ready? And tell and me where in the world is Sammy DeVito. Well, tell me where <laughs> can you know, it's funny because I don't know where I totally, I totally, I totally had my finger on the trigger, but I'm like, I didn't want there to be two copies of that playing at the same time because I thought for sure you had it on the soundboard or something. No, so you always had that. I sent okay. the clip to you. Well, I've good. Never had it on the well, soundboard. good. Well, I've got it. So for those of you who haven't weren't around when we were playing, where in the world is Danny DeVito? It's uh, awfully similar to a certain other show that you may have seen somewhere. How do we play this, Justin? Yeah, uh, enough with that that red coated floozy. We play Danny DeVito style. Here's the deal. Danny DeVito goes on Twitter and he uh, has a career uh, as being such a fantastic character actor that uh, he flies from place to place. He does film festivals, he has business opportunities. That leads to him taking pictures of his foot, which he calls troll foot, in many interesting places. He's been back on the road and we've finally been able to play our favorite game, where in the world is Danny DeVito? Yeah, and no lie. Like, I like just the other day, uh, maybe three days ago, I was like, man, when, when can we play this bit again? And he's like, well, he hasn't been tweeting. And then out of nowhere, we're set. So I have no idea where he is. I have no idea where... Uh, I'm going to play against Brett, right? It's going to be the yeah, two of you us. Are, you are going to play against Brett. We have three 
uh, three places where Danny DeVito has been. I will uh, request that the both of you keep your eyes off the chat room because there's only so many places that he's been. Uh-huh. And it's gonna be very well, easy. Well, yeah, for and them the chat room's the clearly gonna go and scoop it up again. So let's let's to make it clear. Yeah, this is okay. this is the two of us versus uh, versus. Yeah. So I if I click on this image, am I gonna read any clues here accidentally? Should I? No, op- no, no, no. These are these are specifically cropped and edited. Oh, great, great. To optimize. Awesome. Okay, so. Let's 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 let us play then. It's my favorite game. Tell me where in the world is Danny DeVito. Well, tell me where in the world. Well, folks, uh, Brian, this one is to you. Uh, please bring up the first picture. Okay, I'm bringing it up right now, and what I see is, um, this. Oh my goodness! I see buildings. I see a skyline. I see the sun shining gloriously over the bay and between the toes of the mighty, mighty troll foot. Do I get a clue at all? Okay. And, and you, you got to do. do the whole thing where, where it's like, you know, the, the gumshoe reporter thing. Come on, detective. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot. That oh, that's not the best part of this whole thing. You got to set it up. You're like, troll foot is on the loose. Come on. Let me, <laughs> let me hear it. Give it to me. You got to sell this thing. <laughs> okay, gumshoes. <laughs> <laughs> this Far East destination has quite a sun fixation. Tell me, where in the world is Danny DeVito? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a really great clue because by itself, I don't know that I would have much to go on. But you said the Far East destination with a sun fascination. And I'm going to say any country that puts the sun as its flag is probably infatuated with the sun. I'm going to say he's in Japan. Do I need to give a city or is that enough? The city, Tokyo, Tokyo is my guest. I said guest. Hey, with, with, oh. by which I mean all of Tokyo is welcome to come over to my house. Come on over, Tokyo. <laughs> Hello, Tokyo. All right, that's all you, Justin. All right, so there we go. That is one to Brian. Brett, you have to get this one to tie. Bry, please bring up the second picture. There it is. I'm concerned that when you say it's crop to optimize, I'm going to get a toe or a bunion, and Brian's <laughs> going to get a sit. No, 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 no. As you can see, you can plainly see a bunch of people here. So uh, why don't you report for duty, Detective Rounceville? Okay, gumshoes. This tourist spot was enjoyed for a reflective time by Trollfoot. Please. I'm going to call that the Washington Mall. The reflecting yes, No way! How did you get? Did you recognize that just on visual? How did you get hey, that? Hey, who hasn't been there? Who hasn't held communion and put their hands Where's together in Daddy? front of Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> I love among all of your win sound effects, you have one that just says "Where's Daddy" to, to <laughs> signify a win. Well played, sir. All right, so how are we gonna do a tiebreaker then? Uh, you know, we can we can do the first to buzz in. All right. All right. All right. Do we have to do uh, Jeopardy's rules? Do we have to wait until you've actually finished doing the the thing, reading the, uh, the clue? No, it's gonna be the first one to scream. I got it, Cap. Okay, got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then let me. I'm not looking at it. I'm trying to. This is gonna be weird for me. I'm gonna try to capture it without noticing what I'm capturing. Oh no, no, no. people are saying you have to write it down. That's probably the best way to do. Oh, it. Oh, that is the best way. Okay, no, that's a great idea. Okay, okay. let me capture no this right clues. here. You want to give me? You want to give me a clue? Give me a clue, boss. Uh, well, you had to bring up the picture first. No, right? it's right here. There it, right there it is. There, there it is. There it is. Gum shoes. Here's your clue. Trollfoot filled his belly in this international financial capital. Where is Danny DeVito? <laughs> <laughs> we got to do this bit every week just to listen <laughs> to your awesome pitch. I don't even forgot about the voice. <laughs> That's the best part. Okay, you said it's an international. Capital, I'm I'm gonna. Uh, if, if, if if I were you, gumshoes, I'd pay attention to the food on the table. <laughs> uh, now, by the way, for those listening in audio, this is a big spread. It's a fancy hotel. You see a MacBook in the far background, a lot of bags. He's obviously been shopping, and a gigantic continental breakfast, including an unpopped bottle of champagne, which I'm sure Trollfoot drank himself and popped with his. Feet, I'm sure. <laughs> Troll yes. foot. Okay, I've got mine, which you can see is written on the back of this envelope that somebody sent to me. Okay. So I'll hold uh, it vaguely where you can see now, that it's now, an envelope yeah, without Brett, seeing my please address. Please show that you have a, an answer there, that you have dropped um, your pen. Yes, I do have an answer. 
Gumshoe Brushwood, blank please paper. reveal your answer. My answer is Paris. And Gumshoe Rounceville, <laughs> please reveal your answer. Where is uh, Danny DeVito? I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned since all the food on the table looked edible, but I'm going to go to London. Justin? Well, I can say that Gumshoe Brushwood is... Go on. Where is it? Where is it? And Gumshoe Rounceville, congratulations! Woo! <laughs> a failure! Oh. <laughs> that was heartbreaking. Absolutely. 100% heartbreaking. All right, does that mean we get second chance here, or do we just you have to end it? Second chances, and by second chances, just start naming cities. And Amsterdam. The first one to get it will win. Berlin. Amsterdam. G uh, uh, Geneva. Uh, uh, Copenhagen. Um, uh, uh, Swiss, Switzerland, Geneva. Uh, oh, oh. Wait. What? Somewhere in Switzerland. Name the Switzerland city. Geneva, Bern, um, uh, Bonn. Uh, what, are, what are the places in Switzerland? Cheese Town. <laughs> Swiss, Swiss Topia. <laughs> Cheeseville. Che um, uh, the freaking... <laughs> Um, yeah. uh, uh, financial stand. Um, <laughs> by the way, it's, it's, it's the only thing in the chat room. Everybody in the chat room. Zurich! You said not to look at the chat room. room. Hey! All right, no, I think we're both going to have to just get out Beowulf. That's my favorite from the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeselmania? Financial stand? <laughs> <laughs> I know we're gonna get so many letters from our international crowd because it's so hard. Like we, we we're just Americans. Like, Don't hold Birmingham, it. Knoxville. <laughs> the, the best part about that is uh, all travel though I may be, Zurich is literally the only city. Uh, oh, wait, uh, Wow, everybody froze here, and I don't know if that's my fault or not. I All I heard is Zurich is the only city, and I didn't know if you meant, like, that's the only city that exists in the world or what. What, what did you say, Brett? It's the, it's the only city in Switzerland I have ever actually been to, and it's the one I couldn't think of. <sighs> so we're both dumb. And the only way I got it was by cheating, doing the one thing that Justin said not to do. So can we just give us a tie then, or what do we do? No, there are only winners in this game, and Gumshoe Brushwood, you found... Danny DeVito, congratulations! <laughs> Until next time, gumshoes, keep an eye out for that fat foot. Hit it, Rockapella! In the world is Danny DeVito. Uh, dude, I, that was that was undeserved victory on my part. I'll be the first to admit it, but that that is but a, a victory nobody nonetheless. Nobody likes a sullen winner, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, put your hands together for the victory. <laughs> okay. All right. So what else? What else we got on tap? We're trying something uh, something new this time, right? Yeah, we got two new bits. It's been a while since we've just done something that's like so game heavy. We've done, we did a lot. We're doing a lot of games. Well, you know I what really it is. Like. Part of it is that is that we're all familiar with Amtrekers, uh, you know, stuff, and and we're not really doing much of an interview type thing. And hopefully next week we'll make it an effort to try to to land Robert Kirkman. In fact, why don't we go ahead and declare if you guys want to start hitting his Twitter, saying that we're huge fans of The Walking Dead. We'd love to have Does him have on the Twitter? show. I'm sure, yeah, look, the chat room will figure it out. They'll, they'll have his home phone number posted in about 20 minutes here. But in the meantime... I think I have his email address. Uh, should I be giving that out? I'm pretty sure I found it on the web somewhere. I don't think that someone gave it to me. I think his email address is out there. Go forth and do, chat realm. I thought you were about to actually give his email address <laughs> right now on the show, and I was a little bit worried. So we'll get Robert Kirk. I, mean, I feel there. like I just keep wanting to, 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 to default to the, the, the gumshoe voice. <laughs> hey, gumshoes, we want to book our guest for next week. It's comics' own Robert Kirkman of The Walking Dead. Please find me his personal mailing address and let me know what he likes to order at Burger King. <laughs> Chat Realm is saying that it's at Robert Kirkman. If you want to hit him up on Twitter, why don't we just do a Twitter bomb? Let's get him oh, booked for next be week. Be creative and be very specific in saying, number one, that we love The Walking Dead. We love him, and we want to have him on for the hour next Tuesday at 10 p.m. All he has to do is Skype in. It would be a freaking blast. All right, Justin, let's play another game. 
Let's get into BTW. it. We have a new I'm game called I Said coast. What. Now, Wait, you're uh, going to be on Brian the opposite Bright. coast? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. When, when are you coming out to, uh, to the East Coast, sir? Yeah, Sunday. And you'll be there Sunday. on Tuesday? Sunday night, maybe. I believe so. All right, well, hopefully, maybe we'll do a live, a big, fat That's live. Okay. I, I'm happy interview. to sit in the background and watch Robert Kirkman do his thing. No, dude, well, it'll be a panel discussion. All right, go ahead, Justin. What are we doing? So here's the deal. We say a lot of stuff on this show. If you haven't already guessed, if you may be a new listener, we've been saying a lot of really dumb stuff for a really long time. So what we've done is have some of our uh, greatest fans, people who have contributed to the show, go back in time to many episodes and pulled out completely non-sequitur lines, which now me and Brian will have to remember who said what. Right. It's a game we like to call... I said, I said what? Okay, no. See, that's that. That wasn't how I. When I pitched this as an idea, I didn't think it would be that cheesy a voice. In my mind, it would be like, like, uh, like in Real Genius when Val Kilmer said in the immortal words of Socrates, who said, "I drank what?" Like that's what I thought. Like, like, I said what? Like that's that's okay. that's how All I pictured right. it. Let me let me let me try and do it how you would. You would okay, want. got it, got it. It's a new game we like to call. I said what? <laughs> <laughs> really All right, about we got about this game oh. right Robo Trucker. Robo Trucker. Robo Trucker. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that we've got this friend, and it's like a, it's like a, an unfortunate disease he has, where all of a sudden his voice just goes all Robo Trekky exactly. on him. Oh. He's really sleepy because of chemotherapy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fix it, fix it. Um, no, no, that does not fix it. You are you are more yeah. row bro than You're... you've ever row <laughs> rode the bro. All right. Uh, well, here we can get right into this while Amchecker is fixing his technical problem. Go on. This first one says there's a lot of gay bo crossfire going on right now. Was it me or you, Bry? So it was definitely one of us. Oh, I, I, I assume that's what we told team? people to gather, right? Yeah, yeah, no, that is that is what I told. I mean, it's like I remember that must that was the episode that we had Andrew Maine on, and I remember, I'm gonna say, that I would have been uncomfortable because I tend to be scared whenever anything that might bite me in the butt comes back. So I immediately be like, Gabo, that sounds like something would get me in trouble with the old porch. So I don't think I would say that. I think that's you is what I say. What do you think? You know, but I also think that it may be something that I said that then became a a thing, and so everybody kind of repeated it. But I I, I still kind of agree with you. I, I would no. I Andrew would Maine me. said Gabo. Andrew Maine was the first person to ever say the words Gabo on this show. <laughs> really? For the record, for for Are the you record, sure? I didn't... Your Honor, I do propose <laughs> that when it comes to Gabos on the NSFW, only Gabos... Andrew Maine crossed that line. People are saying that it happened during the Melissa episode. And I Andrew Mann was not on that. I don't know. Well, regardless, I think it'd be Justin that says Gabo. I'm going to go ahead and say Bry. What? Because this, sound, this sounds like you making fun of me for saying it. Oh, gosh, which always bites me in the butt. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> We're locked. We're locked in. Oh, my goodness. And let's go to the videotape. The link here says episode 26. We are all going to hell. Someone's calling you a gay boat. Maybe gay boat's getting thrown around, man. There's a lot of gay boat crossfire going on. Oh, <laughs> oh that's one for Brian. Oh, yeah. Woo. Yeah. Double complete win for double complete <laughs> gay <bow. laughs> All right. So let's, all right. So it's one, one, one other than bribe. Uh, do you want to read the next quote or should I read the next yeah, quote? Yeah, sure. Uh, this is our darkest moment. This now, is this, our darkest moment. This sounds very, very much it's like not a kind of self-serious thing? horse poop that would come out of your mouth, Bri Bri. Uh, well, you know what? I don't know. I don't know why we're not letting uh, Amtrekker play along. How come Brett well, wasn't they, given a chance? I don't know. Well, you Brett... should think about that. Uh, you know what? Here, you oh. get a free point. We're just going to pretend you got the last one right. You okay with that, Brett? Okay. Yeah, right, I'm so totally okay you get to go that. first fact, on this one. Give me two or three free points. Quote: just... <laughs> This is our <laughs> darkest. Like this is our darkest moment. Who said that? Justin or Brian? That's a totally Brian thing to say. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Justin. This one ain't even close. There's no way that anything that emo would come out of my mouth. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, and you know what? Sadly, I totally agree with you guys. This says Brian written all over it. Let's take a listen and see who says. What? And we already could tell 
It's NSFW 34, Scream Queens versus Zombie President, and... I, I mean, I, I totally think that this... People are saying that it was during one of the ad reads, and I totally think it might be during one of the ad reads. So you believe that? I'm dropping... I, 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 I kind of... Like I'm led to believe that this is... This is very... Because you, you, get, you get real mopey, uh, and you think that everything's the end of your career... So, like, I, I think that this is definitely one of those moods you have. All right. Might well, I propose to move things along that according to game theory, it really doesn't matter what the answer is? No, no. We definitely have to hear this. There's no way I'm not going to listen. All right, here we go. <laughs> I've been tilted down a little this bit here. This is going to end badly. This is, this is our darkest moments. And no, no, it's not. Yep. Nope. That's definitely, definitely me. And that was Hells during the yeah. Scream Hells Queens yeah. versus Zombie Presidents episode. Of course, that's got me written all over it. All right, Justin, what's the next one? All right, here we go. And this one, uh, we will start with Brett. We'll get the first guess. It's as satisfying as I'd rehearsed it in my head. It's as satisfying as I'd rehearsed it in my head. Well, you're saying it now. Does that count for anything? <laughs> <laughs> Touche, master. Uh, I, by the way, I love the fact that it's a split vote in the chat room. They cannot decide. It's as satisfying as I rehearse it. Well, here's the thing. I don't think Jerry rehearses anything in his head. I think it all just spews out and he hopes for the best. So I'm going to go for Brian. You know what? That's not a bad, that's not a bad way, to, way to run it. Um, I'm going to say... Actually, I'm gonna let Justin go first, <laughs> because because I'm afraid if no, I... I'm I'm down. I, I I should get all advantages because uh, so oh, all right, all right. Up. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it in your head. Wait, wait, uh, you know what? Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> we may have just heard a bit of the clip loading. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's Brian. I'm gonna say it's Brian. <laughs> Oh no, really? <laughs> no, but but that's but but again, uh, for the same reason that like of of the like, that sounds like something I would say. That's it, I rehearsed it in my head, ex exposing all my. You want to know what I was actually going to say? Me, but since you spoiled it, I'm going to say Brian. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you didn't even hear. <laughs> I know. Oh, stop it, please. It's Brian. All right, all right. Here we go. It is as satisfying <laughs> as I had rehearsed it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> but the set the setup was he said uh, was it you who asked like it was, was it Brett a, yeah I think it was Brett which is which makes rehearsed it, all the, it in your head uh, you know what it is as satisfying as I, <laughs> see and that's that's you who said it it was you who asked yeah, was and, it as and satisfying? the quote was it is as satisfying as I rehearsed it in my head <laughs> what, what, what is, was that in reference to I at need all? it breathier is breathier there, is there a setup to that uh, well it was it was from the South by Southwest episode when we were all playing yeah. here yeah. Um, by the way, no, chat room. And, and no, this, this has all the hallmarks of me trying to mock Brian. Yes. And Brian, <laughs> uh, Brian deflecting it. Like Curtis. the erudite gentleman that he truly is. <laughs> Rolling with it, with the abuse of an older <laughs> brother. All right. So what do you want to set up this next so we're one? All, we're all copied it? on that one. So it's now 3-1. Okay. Yep. Or, uh, three, no, 3-2. Three, I'm, I'm behind by one. I'm right. down by one. Right. Correct. Correct. You want, you want right. me to read this one? You read this next one. Okay. Here we go. Uh, the quote is, I'm glad we get to bring a different level of maturity to our program. I'm glad we get to bring a different level of maturity to our program. I'm glad we get to bring a different <laughs> level of maturity to our program. Maturity. Uh, this sounds like something that Brian would say, but it also sounds like something that I would mock Brian for saying. So I'm going to go ahead and say me. I'm going to say you, but for the opposite reason. This has, I don't think this is something I would say. I think this is, this is you yeah. trying to defend, like, after you talked about, like, you know, hey, you know, for Sponsor X, you ever need to clean up poop off the floor with, you know? Whoa! Oh, I mean, God. like that seems like that seems like the way the way you would set up a sponsor lead. Do you, do you then, mean my my universally beloved sponsor reads? No, no, <laughs> come on, dude. This the, uh, one, the ones dude. that that are that are lauded by corporate America. Uh, buzz is going round, Bri Bri, and the buzz is jury reads. <laughs> you know what'll be great is we'll know we'll know that we've we've actually been successful when Leo Laporte stops Twit to say, "You ever find yourself surrounded?" My dead hookers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say right, Justin let's, let's because so I, I say me. I you say, you say Justin. Me. Here's here's how I read this. I see Justin saying something horrible, 
and potentially racist. And then Brian says something to kind of try and derail that. And then Jury, once he's realized he said something horrible and kind of racist, tries to backpedal with this. I think I'm going to go Jury. All right, so all three of us say Justin, right? Wow, no one wants to take any any shots. Well, I, no, no, no. Right? I, I, look, it's not that. It, look, there are some things that are so self-evident. This is obviously a Justin thing to say, and it's not that we're game theorying it at all. But let's see what it is. I think we just talk to each other a lot. Uh, and name that autocomplete is the episode, and the quote wow. is. We're on Twitter. I'm glad we get to bring a different level of maturity to our program. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> See? Oh, so right. we had that right. See? So yeah. No, well, no, we all had it. I'm just saying this isn't very interesting if no one's going to take risks. That's well, all I'm saying. I'm not going to bet. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go with the. Okay, here, here we, we go. go. Our next. <laughs> Our next one, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure instantly I could give a read on. But go ahead. Yeah, are we are we allowed to say this? No, no. You you could say, say the the corporate safe version to say. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> what an a hole. What a what an what an ace hole. What I an am. ace in the hole I am. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna Who say. Who wants to ace my hole? I'm just oh, come on, Justin. I'm gonna say Justin. Justin. <laughs> What's the actual quote? What, no, what, mean, like, what, what an A S S H zero one three one three. I yeah. am. Yes, exactly. Am. Yeah. What so I say Justin instantly. Justin, chat room, all agree that they you don't agree know at what? all. I'm gonna go ahead, double back, pull an old double pincier move on you. Say no Brian. way. I think uh, this is one no, of the few times all that the way, Brian dude. slipped up. Says that. No way. No way. All oh, right. Justin. I'm going Justin. All right. You ready to hear it? Yep. <laughs> what? And... <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to cut it off right there. <laughs> you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming and that happened. It's in there on paper. Black <laughs> and white. <laughs> 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 that was from Actually, episode. It may in fact be a moth. That was from episode thirty-eight, Cat Trash Fever. Uh, <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh my God! Oh, yeah, why even? I have to take this up. Bill Meeks, who of course writes for WeirdThings.com and is super nice and has been a fan of this podcast forever, and he, he put together the, this list. Why put that in there if it's not going to be something that Brian says? You got to pull a Brian quote where he's awful. Well, of you know what? Hey, we're, we're, not done. we're not done. We're not done. All right. Look, look. We got. I'm we got... down by two. I got. I got to go the opposite way of you two on either one. All right. Well, let's see. Like, maybe we'll just both screw it up. So this one is the next one is. You want to read it? For for us? Yeah, uh, yeah, I just read it, but I'll, I'll read it again. Sure. Uh, get ready for the deluge, my friend. And, and what is, do you think? And get you know what? ready for the deluge, my friend. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say from now on, you get first dibs, and whatever you pick, it's taken, and we, we have to take the other. How about that? You're gonna give me. You're gonna give me lock rights. You give you locks. You got the locks. I got locks, locks. You got locks. You got locks of locks. Dude, I got locks like a Jewish bagel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I'm gonna say this is this is so corny and dumb. It's gotta be Brian. Oh my God! Why would you say it that way? That's terrible. <laughs> All right, well, then let's hope it's Justin, who just said it's corny and dumb. This is NSFW9, Never Have I Ever. Get ready for the deluge, my let's friend. Wait. No, come on. The mundo. Boo this, man. All right, we're within uh, one. We're within one. You got a chance to tie us oh, up. Oh, dude, my Jew bagel powers are coming, <laughs> coming to roost. Dude, I want to form a, like a dodgeball key team and call them the Jew bagels. The Jubigals. The, the Jubigals. The Pretty. Jubigals. I feel like the Jubigals can tour. They could be the new Yo Gabba Gabba. You know what? We uh, we could also like make the more attractive versions, and they could be the Pretty Jubigals, <laughs> which <laughs> which is awfully close like to our Pretty Jumbles family. in the chat room. Are you saying the Jubigals are pretty, Brian? No, I'm saying Pretty Jumbles. That's, that's racist. That's okay, a no, really racist you thing you and your race baiting, sir, will go nowhere <laughs> just because. <laughs> Okay, so when we play this game in uh, 18 weeks, <laughs> maybe we'll know that Brian pulling your race baiting will get you nowhere. <laughs> we'll obviously be Brian. All right, All right. Uh, here we go. Our final line is, hey, it's New Zealand. Who cares? Uh, oh, this is a great one. Uh, you want to? Uh, 
All right, go. Yeah, no, I'm going to go ahead and tie this one up and use my jubical power <laughs> to fuck it me. There's no way that Brian would attack an entire country because he ain't got the stone. Oh, my gosh. This this might actually end up interestingly because I, I I mean, you say I don't have the stones. I probably don't have the stones. Uh, <laughs> I probably let's, don't have them. Let, let us Well, here, let, let's just try it right now. Just to test it out, how about you insult the entire country of New Zealand? Like, it's just a bit, obviously, in context. Yeah, no, it's sure, all sure. Place, finally. So go ahead. Take, take a real big shot at New Zealand. <clears throat> Nasty as you can get it, bro. Come on. Let them have it. <laughs> Filthy hobbits. Get them. <laughs> Hello, New Zealand. While I'm very fond... da Buzzer. Let, let, me, let, me, let me finish. <clears throat> Y'all have sex with sheep. Boom this man! Come on! What? You, you might as well have said, hey, nice hair, New Zealand. You have a lovely, <laughs> I, I really enjoy your skirt and your scotch pudding. All right, try All it again, right. but this time with the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, that's, yeah, thank you. <laughs> but I've got a family and I'm terrified, all right? <laughs> All right, can we can we get to the answer? Yeah, to let's go one? ahead. Let, let's see. I say Justin, and I use my jubical power to keep everybody else <laughs> off that answer. Please, Brian, to the videotape. All right, but hey, it's New Zealand. Who cares? <laughs> They've never heard of either of them. No. Oh, so that was Scott Johnson versus the world. Oh man, I thought maybe I'd said it by accident or something. So now, so now what? We're tied. Now we're tied, and we're out of of options. So. Let's go with who can insult New Zealand the worst. <laughs> no way. We're not <laughs> going to do that, dude. No, I tell you what. Rating. Why don't we see? Listen, and I can say that because I'm from New Zealand. <laughs> you are not from New Zealand. <laughs> Prove it. Prove it. I'm, you got my birth I'm certificate? i 16th New Zealand. Uh, okay, look. I say what we should do is we should take a moment to put our partisan differences behind us and instead talk about somebody who we all know and love, somebody who makes magic happen. For us, Justin. Yes. Can we talk oh. about this? Um, yes. I get all my fresh bagels <laughs> from Jubicles. <laughs> <laughs> Jubicles. No. Hello. Hello, friends. It's Justin Robert Young for Jubicles. Are you sick <laughs> of your bagels coming in stale and goy? Come to Jubicles. <laughs> You know what? Maybe we should. Maybe we should actually. Uh, let's say. Let's say right now you thought that there was a an option, an opportunity to make some crazy money with your Jubigals idea, right? How would you act on it? Could you have like? Could you be making money on Jubigals in fifteen minutes? Yeah, because uh, I'd start slashing the tires of all my competition. <laughs> I'd, I'd throw a flaming trash can, and I'd say they were anti-Semitic. No, and I would not. put all of that information on my new website I started with squarespace.com. <laughs> yes, folks, when I start up my new bagel uh, establishment <laughs> called Jerry's Jubigal Empire, I will start my website with squarespace.com. Why, it's so easy. It can't go down no matter how many DDoS attacks are launched from those filthy anti-Zionist forces. No. Oh my God, stop, Justin, what are you doing? Keep going. It's Squarespace. <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and test it out tonight, even before I go out and try to parse through the filthy Jew-hating competition. Oh I'm going to start up my own... Stop! Stop! You've got to stop! I'm going to start up my own website for Jury's Jubical Empire on Squarespace because, yes, friends, it doesn't cost you a thing. No! Start it up without a credit card, and if you use the offer code NSFW, you will get 10% off the lifetime of your order. And that's more slack than those filthy. <laughs> okay, all right, and and with that, we received a fortunate hiccup in our internet bandwidth, and Justin can't be heard anymore. Listen, here's the thing, people. If you don't know already, everyone who's anybody on the entire freaking internet is all jumping ship and going to Squarespace. Why? Two reasons. Number one, it's ridiculously easy to be up and running. You can get your free two-week trial without even giving a credit card. All you got to do is give an email, and you're online with you know Jury's Jubilee 
skills.squarespace.com. And the templates look absolutely amazing. You don't have to be a wizard. If you are a wizard and you know your CSS, if you're like a Bill Meeks out there, then you can make an amazing looking web page. That's who hosts my website at schwood.com. That's S H W O O D.com. Take a look at it and you can see how advanced you can make your website look at Squarespace and the best part is it is completely scalable but no matter if you let's say all of a sudden people discover how awesome your bagels are and it explodes on the digs and the reddit Ju jubicles they're called jubicles <laughs> no, <I'm dead>. if <laughs> like, like, you, know, you, know, you don't call McNuggets chicken pieces okay. you don't call my bagels bagels okay, you right. call them jubicles and jubicles <laughs> so when your jubicles take off and they're on the digs and the reddits and, the, and, and they're talking about it on twit this, they're really good it's not going to crash yeah, the server. you haven't been talking about competition <laughs> No, I haven't talked to your competition. Because that, but... that would be a problem. Okay, here's the, here's the, here's the important thing. <clears throat> uh, Long-time listeners of the show understand that we take a little bit of risks when we try to very accurately portray some of the benefits of going with some of our sponsors. The only way we can continue to take these risks is if you guys go to squarespace.com and sign up for a two-week trial. And when you sign up, sign up using promo code NSFW, and you'll get 10% off the lifetime of your order. And uh, you know what? Our, our, your friend of mine, Tony Wang of Twit, came up with a little gem. He realized that, that you also get like 9% off when you buy an entire year of hosting in advance. So if you combine those... So you get 19 That's 19%. what I'm saying. You buy, now, I can't verify this. I don't know if this is true, or maybe it's the loophole that's going to be you closed. You get 19%. Oh, okay, no, stop. Stop verifying your... anything. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, is you buy a year in advance, and you use promo code NSFW. Not only does that keep us in business, but it keeps us in business. Exactly. And listen, if, if for whatever reason uh, it's not the 19%, you can bring that percentage on to Jerry's Jubical Empire. <laughs> and you can cash it in right there like TK. tokens at the fair. Uh, seriously, guys, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely head on over to Squarespace. Use promo code NSFW. Uh, why don't you send us a screenshot of it, and we'll send you uh, some stickers. I, I just got a bunch of stickers in. I'll send you some stickers. Send me your address then, and a screenshot of you using that, and I'll send you stickers. I'll tell you, when I'm up there, we'll, we'll sign them. We'll have signed stickers. Yeah. How about that? Hey, how about that? We'll give them away live on the air. Signed stickers. If you sign up for Squarespace, it's bribery, baby. Squarespace. Yep. Squarespace.com. Don't yet let your highlights get muddled by anti-Semites. <laughs> not not your best offering. Not your best rhyme. Everything was gold <laughs> until that end. Oh, I'm sorry. I took a little off the fastball because I didn't want to scream Jew hater one more time. <laughs> oh, my God. And now I get criticized. <laughs> okay. So, uh, look, uh, look can, we get, can we get to our main event here? This isn't even about us. It's about us trying to get people laid when Make they go to their cousins. Make our listeners less boring. No, yes. no, to get them laid when they They're go to their cousin's terrible. wedding is what I'm saying. You know, whoa, to be... whoa, whoa. Why are they hanging on their cousins again? No, no, they're going to their cousin's wedding, and there's all these hotties all around. Really, it's a really wedding. Really uncomfortable the way oh, you're pouring your cousins. family here, Brian. Okay. Ew. All right, look, that is not going to stick. Sometimes it sticks. This time it's not sticking. Shame on both of you, all right? Oh, <laughs> Brian, that's funny. I'm, uh funny so we're gonna start with our new game brian let's go right to the theme song yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can, can we explain explain the, the premise one yeah, more time go, go for it go for it okay so here's the deal here folks we are gonna have you call in and tell your most interesting story. Like you're super, you haven't met anybody, and you have told your friends a million times, so it's perfect, you're perfect, right? You have the beats all set up. Remember, you gotta hook us at the beginning. As soon as it loses our interest, we're gonna go thumbs down, and you're gonna hear, Brian, do you have it uh, queued up, or you want me to? Oh, I, I totally, this is all you, I don't even have it. Oh, right. oh, you're, oh you're, so no, you're, I see what you're talking about. You're saying like, when it goes bad, you're gonna hear this. The internationally recognized symbol that means a green brody, a green brody, a green. right? That means that we're done. You're out. Get lost, sucker. So I exactly. tell you, call us now, and if you don't get in, just keep calling until you get on. But the number is on the screen right now. I don't want to give it out for the audio listeners because they'll be calling my, yeah. my numbers and, uh, at all for, times for, for of those, the days. For those those who might know uh, or might not know, uh, the Brody Quest video is something that we've been obsessed with. It's made by Neil. 
what, like Quinceañera? Yeah, yeah Quinceañeros is. is his name. Neil Quinceañeros. Yes. Neil, Neil Quinceañeros. Um, and uh, he, it's, a, it's a great video. Go check it out on YouTube. But we've used it specifically in the after show uh, for when people call in, they'll give us suggestions. And as soon as they're kind of, you know, petered out, we'll brody it. So now we're going to do that with your best stories to make sure that you don't go into battle trying to bang Brian's family at a wedding unprepared. That's right. All right. We already have our first call on the air. Caller, you are on the air. What's going on, sir? Oh, he chickened out. You know what that means. Oh. Right off the bat, bro. It's at zero. Bad news. We Bad remain news. at zero. We, we not what? So right now the record is zero. That's who was able to last the <laughs> longest. Let's bring it. Who's got the next one? Chat room? Uh, We're looking in your direction. Now, they are giving the number in the chat room, which I mean somebody's going to call. Uh, Beardy Geek says, why are we calling again? The answer is you're calling just to tell us a story. If your story's interesting enough to last 10 seconds, 15 seconds, maybe you'll be the winner. If you can keep us on and hooked for 30 seconds, gold is yours, my friend. Any story you want. Tell us something embarrassing. Tell us something shocking. Please be careful with your language. That's what that's that's the ground rules right here, right? But it's yeah, like yeah. you yeah. And, and remember, yeah, it's just you're you're this is like a rodeo. Like you want to go for eight seconds. Yeah. This is our own brodeo. We'll give you actual gold. It's the brodeo. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. We, we although we've used the brodeo in like we've eight used different that several times. <laughs> yeah, well, this is the actual brodeo where you have to ride us as long as you can. You sounded so excited that you discovered that word though. You just I know. Well, it's, like, it's like it's like like Brody over us is like like Eskimos and snow. Don't they have like eighteen different words for snow? <laughs> like we have eighteen different definitions for Brody. It was like you had just sat in a bathtub and watched the water level rise and screamed Brody! Eureka! Brody! <laughs> You know what? I wonder if we actually have intimidated everyone. We frightened them off because uh, the, nobody's Are you kidding. We calling. can't go on without people calling in fifteen times. Well, that's what I that's what I said. But they, like, like, maybe if we made it clear, the, the problem is we put the pressure on them. We said we're going to judge you and bro to you if you suck. And normally we don't do that. We just bro to them naturally all the time. Yeah, yeah. No, normally. Come on. There's got to be some people who want to test the story. Literally. All right. The, yeah, the, test the pride. Story. Maybe we need to test sweeten the pie. Story. Here, right? Maybe we need. Maybe we need to sweeten the sweeten the, the, the sweeten pie. The pie? Maybe we need to get the prize. The prize out here. What are we gonna give them? If yeah, they they're win? saying no reward quotient. You know what? We will call. We will. We will. Uh, we will give you a customized message of whatever you like to be recorded and posted on your website, on your blog, on your on your voicemail, whatever. You get to tell us what to say. It's like a free sponsorship. How about that? Absolutely. And also, Brian will give you fifty dollars. <laughs> 50, 50 Brian bucks, maybe. All right, first caller's on the air. What's going on, dude? What do you got for us? Are you ready? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, we're totally ready. What, and and go. All right, so last night went to the Jets game, and I took a picture with Green Man, and it was raining, and it was awful, and I took a picture of him, and... Ten minutes. Ten seconds. You made it ten seconds. That was not bad. That was not bad, but but it was like what, the third time I heard about how it was raining and awful. Then I lost interest. So hopefully now we'll yeah, here's this is this is going to be a really really good Brett, teaching Brett, moment as Brett, Brett slips his beautiful Brett, slumber. Up. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, too here's, many ands is what what they're saying in the chat room. A lot of ands, and also let's you gotta, you gotta start. It's like a movie, right? You gotta start with a pop. Start with an explosion. Hook us in. In Say, media hey, res. The uh, the uh, by the way the chat room is saying first of all it was 19.1 seconds from the first w word and the other comment for the chat room is the only reason it lasted that long is because I couldn't find the button which may in fact actually be <laughs> accurate <laughs> because I had my fingers up doing this I'm gonna rely on you guys to hit record in the chat room and tell us so that means our current record is 19 seconds which I think is a little bit perhaps um, op optimistic or whatever. Uh, the magician is calling on a Skype line. Let's hope he's calling on the right one. Caller, you're on the air. What's going on? All right, I got my story. You ready? Yep. All right, go. All right, so I was at a quiz bowl, and the guy found out I was a magician, so he asked to see a trick. The only thing I had on me was a human blockhead. Did the human blockhead, and my judge puked. Uh, enough to say I got a detention, and when I meet Brian in person, I want him to sign it. Is that for real? He's out. Yeah. All right, he's out. That's real? out. That's out. That's out. out. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. Wow, he survived without being brodied. That was amazing. All right, let, let me get, uh, first of all, let me get Brett back on the line. Wow, that was amazing. Brett, are you back with us, buddy? 
I am. I'm right here. We had somebody. Right. It was it was 13 seconds and he was out. I'm gonna call that the new champion. 13 seconds. Caller, you're no, on the no. air. Okay. So I was at the whole bread company. Claire's that you guys outside of the uh, Thunderous area. And yeah, here's a tip. We have to freaking understand your words. Caller, you're on the air. What do you got? I'm out of here. You guys now? I like to consider us like the rodeo clouds of this. So like they get Brody and then we have to dance around the Brody to make sure it gets corralled again. <laughs> we have to hide the Brody because he's running around all crazy. It's like it's like the Brody's running around the, the whole thing doing this the entire time. We're trying we're trying to get him back. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, look at the shiny barrel. By the way, the Skype line, if you want to call in over Skype, it can be NSFW Show. We left that one open for you. NSFW Show for Skype calls, or you can call now, us at the phone number on your screen right now. Now, here, let, let me let me just do a little analysis here real quick. Now, now, the magician holds the record at 13 seconds, but he wanted to get to the end, so he told it way too quick. Like, he had a great story. He could have taken yeah. a little bit longer and stretched it out to a good 20, maybe even 25 seconds. So he set himself up where somebody could race through a really interesting story and beat him. But it remains to be seen whether or not somebody will get Brody before him. Yes, yes. And by the way, chat room has a very interesting dare that they're throwing out. Apparently, apparently there's a certain caller who has joked about calling in who might be in a position of power. That would be very interesting if they actually decided to do so. But in the meantime, we're going to wait patiently. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> caller, you're on the air. Hello? Oh, come on. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That's, a, that's, one of our, that's one of our soundboard callers that calls us and punks us all the time. So that's why I knew oh, to, to drop him right away. Uh, caller, you're on the air. What's up? Oh, we just hung up on us. We just had somebody frozen. I'm going to call Frozen let me, back. Let me, let, me, let me point this out. So that's why I drop him right away. Uh, caller, you're on the frozen. air. What's up? Stop it. Up. Turn down your radio. Oh, radio caller. Yeah, sorry, dude. Automatic. All right, go ahead. All right, we got Elliot on the line. Elliot, and you're live. Go. All right. Uh, the magician is calling back. Magician, you better have a totally different story that has nothing to do with that first one. Go. Okay, so I was at a quiz bowl, and I did a trick. Guy puke up. I have signed the attention slip one. And not only that, I say it wipes out his first one. You get oh, back on the ball. Oh, it's wipes all out free. Your first it's one. all free. He came back and he ruined his. his it's he like called he called back to mock the competition. Yes. And uh, this is what he did. Yes. Gets. No, that's a great idea. That's a really great idea. So now we're back wide open. We're yep. back so wide open. Is, can he save it with a third actual well tell? Yes. Cold story? Yes, of course he can. Yeah. Of course he can. Yes. But for right now, we're totally wide open. You can uh, Skype us at NSFW Show or at the number on your screen. We have uh, Kuhan on the line. Go, Kuhan. All right. So. I was at St. Louis Bread Company, which is Panera Bread for you guys outside of the St. Louis area. It's sort of like Starbucks, where you can go in there, you can get free Wi-Fi, you know, use laptop. A man walks in with his entire desktop setup, dual monitor display, but I'm pretty sure it was flash editing on his screen. Uh, and like, 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 oh, I'm sorry, dude, that wasn't my call. Ah, oh, what a bummer, dude! I didn't want to. I didn't want to kill him. You sucked, bribe, bribe. I, I, I was actually. I actually got into it when you said he. Was, somebody <laughs> set up a whole desktop and everything. I thought that was awesome. I'm all getting into it, right? Brian, you you are like the only person who actually belongs on Twitch. Because <laughs> like I hear that, it's like it's like oh, I was at Atlanta Bread Company. Man, brought in his whole desktop setup, <laughs> and, and I'm like, I totally all right, what right. is he gonna do? Answer call email. Her. We and, gotta call. And Brian, Brian's like, Brian's like, like. Oh my God! Wait a minute. I wonder what kind of video card. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is exactly how it was. <laughs> Caller, you're on the air. Actually seen yeah, that one goes. The Panera down the street from my house. He Elliot, him, uh, what iMac. do you got? And. Adrian Brody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm not even gonna. You don't even get a Brody if you don't open your mouth. You don't even deserve the Brod. <laughs> All right, Brody, this fail well. All right, we got time for like uh, I'd say three more. They got to come in fast and furious, though. This is how it's got to go. <laughs> All right, so here we go, folks. Listen, I mean, this is up for grabs. You can do a five-second story. 
You could say one time right. I jumped a ramp on a skateboard and I was smoking at the same oh. time, and we're gonna be like, awesome. Yep. Caller, you're on the air. What do you got for us? So I was at New York Comic Con this uh, past Saturday, and I actually went to the, the convention, uh, the panel for uh, Walking Dead. Saw the first six minutes. Saw Michael Rooker. Oh, it started off so good. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Was it an internet lag moment that we just had? Because I'm, uh, I, what's funny is I heard Michael Rooker and then he just can, stopped talking. And then, I can uh, still yeah, hear you guys. No, no, no. I think it was a lag. It was okay, a lag. okay, that was lag. That was lag. You're, 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 you're saved. You're oh, saved. You're okay. saved. Okay, so you're back so in we're from back Michael, Michael Rooker. Rooker. You said you saw Michael. zombies and we show, showed six minute clips. So at the end of the panel, I walked out and guess who I bump into? Robert Kirkman. He actually signed my book for The Walking Dead. The, the first book. Signed. And he signed it to me, and it was great. It was an did, awesome event. Did, wait, Thanks, one guys. Oh, one no, question. No. Did you ask him to be on the show? <laughs> I didn't know he was in. I didn't know you wanted him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was doing okay at the, at the end. He was like, no, and he did this, it and did it, it was great, and it was awesome, and I want three more seconds on the clock. Oh, yep. I, I also want to point out to everybody that uh, Jubagles is spelled J-U-B-A-G-E-L-S. Just okay. so you guys. All right. The magician is coming back for his third attempt. It better be good. You're on the clock now. It's not an attempt. I just want to know, even if I'm out, can I still get my detention slip signed? Bad news. All right. We got I just don't know why. Like, he literally, he, he's obviously, he, he's such a frustrating player. I don't because know. he obviously <laughs> can do it. And yet he just wants to fart off. Yep. Oh, cheating day. All right, we got, we got, we got. practice. He doesn't play hard in games. He's running through his routes. He's he's ridiculous, and I don't want him on the team. All right, well, caller, we got a caller. We're on never going to make states. <laughs> caller is on the air. Caller, go. Okay, uh, at South by Southwest this year, I met Vincent four hundred four. It was that's fun. it. He's out. He's out. That's it. That's it. Five story. So that's like that's like is what that a few seconds. A story about pulled pork. I, I, I don't totally know. No, Vincent four hundred four is what he said. All right, caller, you're on the air. What do you got? So right now we're at five. Leads at five. Caller, talk. Yeah, I, I've got a story. I had, uh, I had my coworker had. Uh, I worked in a warehouse, and my coworker almost uh, lo almost had me uh, lose all my fingers. It dropped some boxes on. Uh, dropped some skit. Dropped some boxes on. Uh, Oh, no! Oh, All right, hold on. We got another call. Right, again, online. folks, don't bury the lead. Yep. Okay, so there's a, a, a uh, West West you got All right. Caller. So when I caller, did, caller, stop, 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 Answer the call halfway through the story. Stop, stop, All right, stop, 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 Bob, stop, you're in the... media res. That's good. No problem. And Bob couldn't turn down his radio. Man, I'm not. Uh, what are we at? Are we at? Are we? Are we at zero? We're at basically? Five seconds. No, we had the Vincent 404 okay, one. No, because, that's, because, that's true. All right, no, 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 no. Like the the Robert Kirkman story. Was so that one. this uh, one time, I'm actually in a ska band, and the problem was I caught pneumonia. Doctor told me not to play a show. Actually, had to play an entire ska show with pneumonia. Couldn't breathe for about 15 minutes through it. So, that's my story. Ah. I thought this was going to lead to like how you ended up in a three-way with a with a two-headed woman or something. Hmm. Bummer. Oh, apparently, people are saying that Squarespace wants to call Would that be a four Is Squarespace way? actually watching? Well, that's what I was teasing earlier. Hello? I do want them to call. And call, you're on the air. What do you got? Hello? Yes, you're Hi, live. Go and talk. All right. So one time, and right. I can't. So like one time, I was <laughs> part of it. Part of it has to be the tech aspect. Like people have to be like overwhelmed. Like they don't know if like I don't know am I on or not or not. Do, can we can we have can we have Square's place play? Don't get Brody. Oh my God! I totally forgot to play the thing. What? What are you talking about? Hello. Hold on. Yeah. Come on, dude. Okay. Stop that. Stop that. All right. <laughs> Caller, you're on the air. What's up? Hello? Yes, you you're you're live and go. Okay, uh, there's a party. Uh back in uh college. I, everybody uh starts running over to the party. We stop at the store ahead of time to get the, the head drunk uh, going. 
Um, my buddy uh, drinks on a dare, a tile, uh, one fifth of vodka. We get to the party, we start looking around, we start noticing a lot of dudes dancing and making out, but there's free beers, so we say, screw it, let's keep going. So we keep drinking. At some point, two girls come over and start unbuttoning my shirt and start trying to take off my shirt and, and strip me down. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm trying to kind of push them away. And uh, at some point, I hear someone scream, do it, and then my name. And I just kind of pull my hand away, let it go, they pull down my clothes. A couple of seconds later, the person who owns that house comes running in and starts screaming, angry, you ruined my party, how dare you, you're filthy. Oh, that was too much. Too much. Caller, you're on the oh. air. Hey, so get this. I was in uh, college, and uh, I stayed in my frat house over the summer. There was only two of us in the whole frat house. We took my old Dodge truck, cut the top off of it, and went to uh, Idaho to a gambling town. And uh, we didn't have any uh, stuff to keep warm. So we went out, and, and, and uh, we took some uh, blankets from this motel room while the waiter or the, the uh, lady was gone. She was taking blankets out. She was cleaning the room. The only way we get home is stay warm. Oh, man. <laughs> the, the killer thing is you let, you let Justin intimidate you. You actually had a decent story rock in there, and then you let Justin throw you off your game. That's going to be because one I like to call. All, all download marks. the there video like, version. There was cut up trucks and theft and gambling and then nothing. And then, and then he just melted down. All right, the magician, last chance, buddy. This is the last time I'm letting you on for this. Go. Okay, so my... I'm a pyro, and that's actually how I became to know Brian. And we were having a fire one day, and my brother went to fire fight the fire at the end, and he was pissing on it, and my other brother jumped up behind him, pushed him in, face slammed down on the log, had two of his teeth come out, and set his hair on fire. Top that one. Oh! <laughs> Oh, complete story! Complete story? I guess it's, yeah, 19 seconds or so, right? All right, we got one more. We got one more. All right, caller, you're on the air. What do you got? Hey, so uh, I went to college, big frat party. It was supposed to be my initiation night, and I ended up sitting on my uh, friend's <laughs> uh. <laughs> We should have, like, a secondary prize for anyone that can start a story <laughs> without the two words, okay, so. Don't think All we right. had that yet. Uh, hold sure on, let me, get this, let me get this other caller on the air. I keep dropping my cable here. All right, caller, you're on the air. Go. So once I would keep the jar and the lid was stuck on really tight. I know that doesn't sound very tough, but uh, you have to realize that I was only using one hand to open it because the other hand was holding on to this rope where seven children were dangling. Oh, no, that was that was the, our soundboard collar, and it was obviously a made-up story. That was the problem. It was it was obviously oh, fake. You can't. What's wrong with the made-up stories, though? If they hold your attention, oh, wait, wait, you got, you got, they, got, they can be made heads. up, but you wait. can't. Be, they can't be obviously made up. Is the thing? Can we can we have Squarespace oh, really? call in? I want Squarespace to call in. I'm just gonna say that. Let's let's have Squarespace call in, and then they can play. Well, I'll tell you what. Meanwhile, everything you ruined everything because they just. Uh, Hello, caller, you're on the air. Not anymore, you're not. Uh, the reason I say you ruined everything is because uh, the, uh, the the latest tweets came in. Our dailies from Squarespace came in, sir. <laughs> All right, Braden, you're on the air. What do you got for us? Yeah. Um, I'm in college right now, and I tried to... Uh, and, of course, I was extremely drunk one night, so my roommates and I were trying to blow up some balloons... And, of course, I was thinking, there were, there were the tiny little, uh, what do you call them, the, the stretchy ones. The twisty that the, balloons. Uh, yeah. That the clowns used Qs. to tie up their balloons, right? Yeah. Like the ones that they used to do balloon animals with, right? So I thought, well, I can't blow this up by hand, and we don't have those pump things. So I thought, I'll get something that can fit around there, and I could squeeze them up with. So I find, like, one of those chili sauce things that have the little, little ends in there that would fit quite enough. So I thought... I'll just pump it up with that. <laughs> okay. So I keep squeezing it and just sprays everywhere. It lands in my face and in my eyes. And I'm just screaming like a, just screaming like crap. And it's, and I just basically, I'm just screaming, asking for milk. And it's, I'm literally just milking it out, getting it out. 
This is I win. Just it's just so, it's terrible. This is it's win. Get hurt. off the line. You're already a winner. That's our new record at one minute. Oh, my God. I'm actually line. loving that episode. All right. Football JoJo. G Joe. Football G Joe. What do you got for us? You're, you're the last contestant. Uh, okay, I was in a uh, physics in university, and we had a physics uh, versus uh, applied math uh, party, and it was uh, Star Trek versus Star Wars. So, of course, people dressed up in costume. I didn't, but, um, and some of them decided to go to the liquor store. So some people actually went to the liquor store dressed up as an at at So he was there with his hind legs wagging around with balls and uh, cardboard boxes, drive, walking through a liquor store buying liquor. That's the whole story? Pedal cool, at and Yep, at and yep. Hmm. Hang on, let me Is find my let me find that? my Brody button. <laughs> there we go. Uh, man. All right. Good beginning. Let me let me just say this. Uh, if Squarespace is, is watching, please call in. Can we give it the number in the chat room? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's all over that stuff. Yeah, totally. And let me and let me just say this. Uh, I I am I am brutal in that I am brutal in my defense of Squarespace as a champion against intolerance, and that is what. That like, I would like to hear. I'm going to say this. Hi, everybody. My name is Justin Robert Young. I played Justin Robert Young on NSFW. Uh, and, and very seriously, Squarespace is not only dedicated to defending those who would like to preserve religious freedom, but they want to respect your personal rights with great service. There we go. That's All what right. I want to say. Bradley Armstrong, what do you got for us, buddy? All right, so one time I ordered absinthe from England, and I was at a LAM party and ended up drinking half of a bottle because my friend was going to drive drunk, but I was too drunk to do anything else to stop him. And I got what? so drunk that I couldn't remember how to move, <laughs> and I called my mother to tell her that I loved her because I thought I was going to die. And she called me a little pussy for whining out. <laughs> All right, like this. <laughs> yes! Uh, no <laughs> no. champion! No, no, no. All right, well... We got somebody on the line. All right, caller, you're on the air. What do you got? Caller, who called me? Oh, I have your volume down. When I was down. in uh, high school a couple years ago, Go I on. ruined this girl's life by uh, coming to her work, and I did not really know this girl. It was a friend of my friends. She worked at a photocopy store. I took photocopies of my uh, jubagels, <laughs> threw them in the, in the trash afterwards. When we went out for her break, wait, I the, wait, learned the how to throw fireballs in the trash, in the lighter. They... Originals. I figured I'd throw it at her shirt and it would roll off. She had a lot of hair products in it. Set her hair on fire, and the next day she got fired from having pictures of the bagels in the trash can. Oh my god, that's terrible. Is that true? Slash. That is a true story. Wow. All right, well, there's that. Two bagels in the trash can, bro. Oh Gotta my laugh. god. <laughs> all right, yeah, uh, all right. We got, we got time for one more. Aaron, you're on the line. What do you got? Aaron, use your words. Jay, use your words. What do you got, buddy? Benjamin, what do you got, buddy? Benjamin. Oh, Man, you're <laughs> out. You don't do you, you get Brody for that. All right, we got one more caller by phone. All right, well, this is it. It's got to go a minute and eight seconds. I doubt. I okay. doubt we're gonna get it because a minute and eight was our total win. All right, caller, you're on no, the air. No, what do you got? That's a win. story of Squarespace, and you guys keep me awake at night when you tweet me after your show. Um, I run the Squarespace tour account, and I am Squarespace. Wait, 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 you, wait is, is this actually Squarespace? This is actually Squarespace. My name is Mark Bersheiner, I'm the Squarespace engagement leader, so I'm the guy you're tweeting. No way! That's yes! awesome! Yes! Hold on, okay, all right, all right, all right. the sponsor, Brian. Woo! <laughs> Look who's irresponsible with the sponsor. Hold on, now. I didn't Brody any sponsor. I Brody somebody who even, claimed to be a sponsor. Even the sponsor buried the lead, though. How do you not lead with <laughs> <I> yeah, Squarespace? <laughs> Hear me roar. Dude, how did you, yeah, it's like, well, let me make this really boring and then drop BT dubs. I'm Squarespace. <laughs> I wish you guys could understand how, how you, you guys, you're ridiculous. I, I have never actually sat down and participated in this. And I, the tweet started coming today, and I was like, okay, you know what? What the hell? And uh, you guys blow my mind on a regular basis. Yes! 
Dude, yeah. this is the best news ever. Okay, oh, wait, just just so just so it's recorded. You mean uh, blow your mind in a awesome good way, right? Yeah, blow your mind in a in good a, way. In a very good way. I do have to say though, I cannot blame the callers because you guys are sound like you're like seven miles away. I know. Well, well, that's that's what happens when you call on the phone line. The phone line, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, blast back and feedback and stuff. It's very overwhelming. But that's why we're trying to make this. We're trying to make it hard because when you're at that concert and you want to impress that chick. You know, she's not going to wait patiently for your story. She's busy listening to Air Supply in the background. Wow, how old are you? Amazing. Well, I'd love to. We appreciate you guys, and we uh, love everything that you do. The uh, the YouTube clip of all of the sponsors that spots together was amazing. Um, Hopefully, I'll I'll come on to the actual show at some point. Let me do this. Uh, But for now, it's bedtime for me. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Before you go to bed, though, magic wish. The, The internet is your genie. What's one thing you want everybody watching to tweet? It could be about Squarespace, whatever. Oh, it doesn't have to be about Squarespace. You guys just well, then, just, just a random thing. Tweet? What What's a random observation you would like everyone to tweet right now? You putting their own unique spin on it. Uh, I need everybody to tweet their pants status, and I need you guys to be honest about whether or not you're wearing pants. I'm, you know what? I'm going to start. I'm going to lead the revolution and, and, right and, and now. By, and by the way, it has to have hashtag pants check. Pants check. Yeah. Okay. So here pants we go. Status. I'm going to start like it right now. Pants status. Pants status on. Uh, uh, they are on. But wait. <laughs> Quant, dot dot dot. Hashtag pants check. There you go. Like Incredible. that. Pants check is what it is. Yep. There Teams, it is. They're on. Buttons. But wait, pants check. I'm very impressed. I, I have to say, it's a little bit dizzying how how powerful this feels. Yeah, you're drunk with it, aren't you? You already feel I, the power of the demon hordes of the internet coursing through your veins. <laughs> I am now, obliterated. I'm smashed. Wasted the power. Now, now, by the way, I want somebody who's really, really nice to go ahead and take advantage of the totally free offer from Squarespace to do a trial account without a credit card and set up a pants check website that just feeds in That's all great. the hashtag pants check. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. That'll be set up in like in like like 20 seconds. They'll have the website up and it'll be nothing but a live update of pants check. Pantscheck.squarespace.com, assuming it's not already taken. But but first of all, <laughs> we already see a poor again on clean, well-fitting, comfy pants check. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Do, 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 I love uh, Ronek. Do shorts count? Either way, no. <laughs> pants, check. <laughs> pants check. They are missing. <laughs> pants check. <laughs> this is great. And oh my god! I'm so what, excited guys, to actually, actually talk to you and, and find out that we're not fired. for the next like three days. I hope you know. All right. Well, good. Well, I, everyone, make sure to use pants check. But meanwhile, I believe somebody has kept us on the line for a full three minutes now. We have our winner. Congratulations <laughs> to Squarespace. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. That's right, team. Put your hands together for Square. Yeah, put your hands together for Square Space. <laughs> oh, that was freaking amazing, dude. Listen, Justin, I just recommend we have Tony edit out everything except for the last five minutes and we have a winner of an episode, right? <laughs> no, I thought we I thought we we, we, did, we did pretty good. No, dude, it I was thought, a lot uh, of fun. It was it was an amazing time and and I if there's one thing I could say, first of all, thank you so much for our sponsor Squarespace who believes in us and and digs our unconventional style. Thank you so much to Brett Rounceville of Rounce.com, makers of the pimpinest wet iPad cases in the known universe. There are no words to describe how much character and love and integrity are in these things. I'm I'm so thrilled. I can't wait to get mine. You got anything else you want to plug before we wrap things up here, Brett? Fact. Um, no, that's... Oh, you know what I totally forgot to say at the beginning of the hour was, um, yes, there is a contest going on at Rounce.com. And uh, it's an art contest, so if you send in any artistic representations of any uh, rounds of cases or anything, you know what? Be creative. Rounds.com. You can just send them to Brett at Rounds.com, and uh, we'll show them off later on. Sometime. All right. Well, let me just remind you people when you're doing your artistic blah de blahs that there's an iPad case named after this guy, and maybe <laughs> that'll be your inspirado is what I'm trying to say. Justin, what do you got to plug? Uh, I want to remind everybody that me and Brett are working on a project right now called Blurtastic.com. Uh, it is a fantastic way 
for you to start a conversation with your friends on Twitter and let them know the books and DVDs that you're reading. We are rolling out a brand new kind of coat of paint on this that adds so many awesome new features, including user pages, which just went live this week. This is gonna be an NSFW kind of exclusive. Go in there, kick the tires, and, uh, and let us know what you think about blurb tags, including our library view. Dan Dirks and Andrew Main are, are geniuses who have, uh, have, have leveraged their skills into this awesome program. So, blurbtastic.com, little... go check it out. Yeah. The other awesome little tidbit about blurbtastic.com is not only do you get to start conversations about the things you love with the people you love, but there's a little added incentive there if you know how to use it. Yeah, 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 and not yeah, in a backhanded yeah, yeah. kind of way, but it's like like imagine if you could talk about the things you love and secretly uh, NSFW could get a little kickback of everything that's purchased from from people who see the stuff you love. Like you recommend a movie, somebody buys it yeah. and they, they throw, you know, they throw a few pennies. Right, right. Can you show it real quick, the, the library thing, just yeah, real quick? Yeah, I'll, see, I'll see if I can grab it real quick. Oh, you know what? Here we go. I do have it open right now. I'm going to do the library view. When you go to blurbtastic.com, you can say the kind of stuff that you're into, and it has a sweet uh, library review and then when anyone buys any of these things so and, and right click on click on the uh, book okay so I'll click on uh, Astro City here and then so it gives boom. and it gives his thoughts about that particular thing it's, it's really yeah. sweet it's really and sweet. that and that's something that you know you you can tweet it out and it'll be in that 140 character and then you can edit it you can leave it as you uh, had it or you can edit it to make it longer so you can fill your uh, fill, fill your thoughts in but, uh, but please go uh, check it out. We're going to have our NSFW page that we will tweet out that, uh, you know, will support the show. And, uh, and and Brian, you said you were going to do a list of, like, the nine books that everybody oh always asks you. Oh, my God, yes. And everybody, read, right? everybody has been asking us to uh, to put together a list of for Scam School specifically of the books I recommend, recommend. I'm finally going to be able to do that. I actually tried to do it on Amazon, and I couldn't do it because it was too uh, much of a pain in the butt, and there were too many things that, that weren't in – uh, that weren't in the Amazon affiliate, whatever, to make the list. And so this is going to make it easy. Enter blurb right. uh, oh, I only got two make things it to plug. easy for you, Brian. All right, I only got two things to talk about. Number one, uh, I'm still pushing on my Twitter. If you like, uh, if you dig in SFW, you want to hear what we have to say. If you want to hear updates, follow at Schwood. That's at S-H-W-O-O-D. And I want to give a special thanks to our amazing, amazing latest sponsor, Jury's Jubical Empire. And with that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, take care. We'll see you next Tuesday, all right? <laughs> Dying of fire. Bye bye. Hold on. Wait a second. Already. It's, uh, it's, we're live. Already live. Can you believe this, dude? Look at this. We put oh, out the word how long ago to have a live space, square, pantscheck.squarespace.com, and there it is. It's, 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 it's that easy, folks. In real time. That is awesome, man. There's oh, no that's... way that took more than 10 minutes. That's awesome. I'll tell you what, that's how easy Squarespace is, Brian. And look, you know, I'll tell you, for something they got put up in 30 seconds, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, they're saying it was posted eight minutes ago. That's how fast it was. Wow. That's amazing.